Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I'll be teaching you how to build a tall building in Minecraft. So first of all, I'm just gonna show you around a few of my builds in creative mode, as this will show you a bit of what I can do and maybe give you some inspiration to build your own town. So here is the town hall. This one is fully furnished with a balcony, chandeliers, and some other cool stuff. So have a look around, and maybe you can get a bit of inspiration from my builds. So here, there is a little carpet, a few things to make it look quite homely, quite livable in, and then I'm going to go all the way up to the balcony to show you what is here right, on the view of the balcony. So there is two other builds on the view of the balcony, so there is one that is unfinished, that one needs doing, I'm going to do it soon and I'll be sure to show you when I've finished it. And this one is a hotel, this one I did not that long ago and it's sandstone and I like the way that I've made quite a few textures with that build. But this one as you can tell is incomplete completely and I really need to finish it off and when I do I promise I will show you what it looks like. Now I'm going to go over and show you my railway. This one is a fully working railway that goes all the way over to my other side of my town. Here are some builds that I have done, some of them are townhouses, some bungalows and some big family houses as I'm trying to do quite a contrast of different builds as this will help me to practice different styles that I don't normally use and also to give it more of a realistic look as you don't really see the same type of house all the time in the real world so I try to recreate the same in the Minecraft world. So here, this one's got a garage and a driveway to show that, and a big, gar a big garden also to show that there is like family houses. And then these are townhouses which are also quite big. I like to mess with the roofs, make them quite intricate as that adds more to the design. There are also some bungalows and some other houses that I will pass on my way to the plot where I'm going to build today. So let's go over there. Great. I made sure that this build was in the middle of the town as it, I wanted it to stand out and kind of something where it's quite cool, a cool feature. So now I am going to build with brick and sandstone as these two blocks are really nice. I'm using smooth sandstone as this one looks super cool. Also there is a dog joining me, I don't really know why, but he has decided to join me. So make sure in the comments down below you write a name for the dog as he's watching me a lot. So name the dog down below and I'll pick out a name and we can name the dog and keep him in all our videos. Now I'm going to go all the way up to build height with the sandstone block. This will be how tall it is going to be which is super tall when you see it in a moment. Now it's 256 height limit for building blocks. So this means that I can't build any higher if I tried. There's the Minecraft limit on how tall you can go. Now I'm gonna do the other side of my build. All the way up to build height, and then I'm just gonna drop down and work on the bottom of the tower as I want to make a bit of a pattern which you will see in a moment which will give it more of a pop out and a bit of a design. So here you can see I'm just starting the design, the design is going to be alternating between smooth sandstone and brick each time which will make it kind of pop out quite a lot make it not your normal build quite stand out which I think is going to fit in with the town hall the way that I designed that too which will help fit it into my whole town now I'm just going to keep alternating between the two which will really 
gonna take a bit of time but I'm just gonna speed it up for you guys so that it's not as long for you to watch. Now I'm just going to fill in the brick as this will help bring it more alive and after that I will put some windows in as well which will even help it even more pop out and some lanterns at the end. I think that this design is a complete success as I really like it. I think that it really helps with, I think it's something that people don't normally use but I think it should have more praise the sandstone and the brick as it kind of just works really well and it isn't grey, it's quite nice colours. But let's carry on going all the way up to build height again with the brick. This is going to take not too long as of the speed building in Minecraft Creative really helps with the build. Surprisingly this build didn't take me very long, it only took me around 20 minutes to build as I already had the plan in mind so what I would always say is if you are trying to create a build make sure you have a plan of what you're going to do, just a rough plan as this would help with the speed of the build if not you'd be creating builds and getting rid of them a lot and also make sure you get the block palette and the type of build you want to build because if you have a space make sure you mark out how far you're going to build it see like with a 10 you're going to build a house you need to think what type of house am I going to build am I going to build a bungalow a big house a small house one with two floors or just one as this will help make the process just a bit faster and a bit more fun for you playing. Now you can see how big this build is actually going to be. Super tall, but it didn't take me that long, which means that this is a great idea. I would recommend it, definitely. You can even use the same block palette as me, or you can use a different one if you want. But I would recommend this block palette as well. Now I'm just going to fill in all the sides. This is taking my time quite a bit, but I just need to get it done as this will really help make the build more complete. Also, if you are building a town too, make sure, what I would say is make sure that there is lots of animals, lots of greenery which will help just fill in where maybe the roads and the paths are make sure there's a nice path and um, maybe stick with a design for your town if you want it to be a modern town an old town or a futuristic town as that would help give the baseline as what you're going to start building
now I have finished the full pattern on the top and I just need to finish the other side now and fill it in with brick which is very good that I have finished with that side now I just have to do the other it's not taking me very long whatsoever and it's such a simple build as it's only a few different it's only two different types of blocks but I, you can really make it work if you alternate with them and create a cool design with them Also, whilst we're in the middle of building, make sure to subscribe as that would really help my channel out. So please go and subscribe right now, pause the video, subscribe and come and watch the rest. Now I'm just going up to build height. Well I've finished most of it now and just have a little bit more to do on my building as this will be quite good if I finish quite quickly. Now I'm just filling in all the little spaces, quite fiddly little spaces, quite hard but I mean this build is quite a simple build because it's just flat type thing and just make it quite easy, you can do it no matter what, no matter what build level you are on, you can always build really good builds, make sure that you make a texture, use different textures, different medias of bit blocks. So this will help with your build, make them way more cool and more wanting to look at. Now I have finished the full first side of my tower big tall build. As So now you can see what it's going to look like, it looks super cool, I think compared to all the other builds you can't even nearly see the other builds, they look microscopic compared to this big build. Now I'm going to start building up the back, I'm just going to do the whole back in brick as this will help just it would take too long for me to do the whole thing with the pattern you can do the pattern the whole way around but I'm just gonna do brick as this is just the easier way and you don't see the back as much you just need the front to be the pattern so this is gonna just take not long because it's no pattern just go straight up to build height that's all I'm gonna just gonna do that right around to help it's gonna be a full square which is gonna help now done only two more left to go as you can see that did not take me very long and I just have to do the other side now.
three sides done, one left to go. See, this does not take very long at all. It's a simple, quick build, even though it's so tall, it's very fast to do. last line now and then I have finished the whole square of the build which will mean that I can get on with decorating it to make it look more complete so I'm just doing the roof quickly and then I can start with the rest right so here it is look how tall you can't even see the rest of the buildings it's that tall now I'm going to drop all the way down to start here. Now I'm just going to get some glass which will add some more of a dimension to the build. So I'm going to do that every two squares. I'm going to do three blocks of it every two squares. So pick up a two then three. And now I'm just going to carry that on all the way up the build. Now I am finished. I'm just going to fill in this last one then I am completely done with the glass. Now the glass makes it look more like an apartment, more like the floors on it which really helps pop the build out because it was too plain before and I'm really happy with how the glass gives it an extra thing to it. So here it is from the bottom, super cool. Now I am just going to get some a door for it. I'm using a spruce door as I really like those types of doors. I think they look really good on the build and they go well with the bricks as well. Now I'm going to get ladders and I'm going to put it the ladder all the way up to the top as this will just make it look a bit more like you, it's a watchtower like you could go up and use it. This you don't have to do but I just thought it would add a cool look to the build even though it's the inside of the build. So now we're at the top I'm just going to punch a hole in it and I'll put a trapdoor there soon. Now I'm just going to get some lanterns and some half slabs so that I can hang the lanterns from the half slabs and this will light the build up at night and also it will add a tiny bit more to the build than it has than it is now. I mean all these little things they add so much to the build even though you wouldn't think it. So I'm doing one on each side of the build. So just a spruce slab and a lantern. I love the new lanterns in Minecraft as these you can use really well for your builds and I think they make you can make more olden day looking builds as well without having to use glowstone because it looks not as nice as lanterns. So I'm just going to do a few more of these I just spaced about four or five along the whole build as this will just light it up and give it a bit more of a style. One last pe pair of lanterns and then I will be finished with the lanterns and I can do 
it on with another part of my build which will really help make it even more nicer. So here you can see the lanterns really help and here and how tall it is. Now I'm just going to go inside and I'm just going to make the floor some oak planks instead of wood, the grass because who has grass inside a building I mean. So I'm just going to quickly do that. Just these little things can help look, make the build look a bit more nicer. So what you have to think is if you were visiting this world, like your friend had just invited you onto this world, how, what would you think? Would you think, oh, like, the floor's grass, that's not right, or, oh, uh, that needs an interior. So that's what I always like to do. I like to think about what, what I'm going to do with the build. But here I'm just going to put some torches down. This will just light it up and just help it. And also overnight, that means that the windows will glow. Now on top, I'm just going to get some glass panes and put them right around like a balcony where you can go up and you can look out even though you can't see much because it, everything's so far away it's still such a cool idea now I'm just gonna get some some pandas so here you'll see what I'm gonna do with the pandas this is something you don't have to do on your build but I thought that it will be super cool as I love pandas they are my favorite So now I've put the glass rim right around, I'm just going to get some more, I'm going to get a lantern to light up it up as well, as a trap door just to make sure that none of the pandas fall around. Here are the cute pandas, I love them so much, they're my favourite animal ever, they're so cute. Now I'm just going to put a lantern for them so that they can see you can see them overnight because if you came up to the watchtower overnight you won't be able to see so I'm just gonna place it on the floor and now I'm just gonna look at the pandas they are so amazing I love pandas so much they're so cute panda play everyone that's why I call it that I love pandas so here is the tower didn't take that long but it's so cool I mean it has so much design in it that's why I like it because it's not just a block colour now I'm just gonna go into the pandas so guys look at this this is so cute me just with pandas I love pandas they're my favorite see how this build you can only see the sky you are above the clouds this is so cool if I could build this in my back garden and it wasn't in Minecraft I would so thank you very much for watching guys but just before you go make sure to like subscribe and comment and also comment down below to see which one of these you would like to see there's a hotel there's the brick one and there's another brick one there's the town hall so if you would like to see one of these builds being done in minecraft then please comment down below what which one you would like to see and I will gladly do it for you so thank you very much bye